this video, I'll show you how to automate your YouTube channel, specifically how to automate your YouTube comments. So every time you receive a new comment in one of your videos, it is going to automatically reply with an AI generated response. So it's not going to be just a simple response. It will be an AI one that is relatable to the question or to the query or to the comment of the user and then send this reply. It's going to check all the time for new comments and reply automatically over the time. Before starting with this video, disclaimer, this video is for educational purpose and I don't encourage you to directly apply this to your YouTube channel because this might promote uh, unauthenticity in the comments and also can uh, promote spamming. So before doing that, please read YouTube guidelines and then you can learn on how to do that. So let's get straight into this. So to do that, we are going to use make, make.com. It is an automation uh, platform that you can create out basically any automation. Uh, as you can see, it is for free with some limits, but also if you want more features and to run for longer, it is uh, with paid subscription. I'm not affiliated by them. And this is a YouTube channel that I have and a an, uh, video that I'm going to show you with testing is just a simple video and it has zero comments. We are going to comment and you will see that we it will send automatically replies to this uh, every new comment that we have here. So let's get started with that. The first thing you have to do is to go to make.com or you can find the link in the description. Every link will be in the description of this video and go ahead and get started. Click on get started or log in if you have an account. Okay, so here we have make. What you have to do is to, to click on this create a new scenario. So you can create an automation scenario that can happen. It's very simple. So the first thing we want to do is to collect the video from YouTube and we are going to connect make.com with YouTube API or with our YouTube channel so it collects a video and checks every time for new comments so here is a plus is starting point that we can do and there we from here well, I'm going to search here for YouTube and here we have YouTube and I just click on YouTube and it will show you so many many uh, functions that you can do with YouTube so what I want to do is to check every time for new comments so here we have watch new comments this is going to trigger when a new comment related to a, a channel or a video or course so you can connect it directly with your channel so all of the channels but uh, for now all connected with one channel and one video to just to show you as an example so here uh, in a connections you have to connect it with your youtube channel i have already connected one but i'll connect another one that i'll show you right now so click on add you have to agree with a uh, term a Google uh, privacy policy and then you can click just sign, sign in with Google is very very simple and very fast I will continue with this one and you have to click on accept this all checkbox and then continue and it will verify the connection and here now in drop down you'll have all your uh, YouTube connections and here is a new one and uh, the comments it, that you want to watch on a video or the channel you can check the entire channel for new comments but we'll check now just one video and here just promote uh, put your video id and i'll go to my youtube channel that i have for testing and i'll grab this video id from the link here is the video id and i paste it here so then uh, here we have the video id and moderation status uh, it will be published likely spam or whatever but uh, for now we, I don't want to do anything else here so it will just click on OK choose where to start so from now on you click on OK so now every time we have a new comment the video is going to check as you can see we have a clock uh, icon here that is running over time so uh, next what we want to do we want to get this comment that is being sent to our video and we want to generate a reply response for with AI and for AI we can use OpenAI or any other uh, model from OpenAI uh, but for now I'll show you the free one that you don't have to spend money on it and it is Gemini so search for Google Gemini here here's Google Gemini is create a completion choose a create a completion so create an AI response and here is my Gemini AI connection. I have connected one, but I'll show you how to connect a new one and get it this API for free. So click on new add and it will show you here connection name and you can choose any name and API key. So where to get this API key? I'll show you right now where to get it. So open Google and search for Gemini uh, API. And here you'll go to G a Google AI Studio. This is an AI studio and just make sure you are logged in with any Google account, it doesn't matter. And here you have a big button here, click API, get API keys and click on that. 
and here you can generate or create an API key. I already have created one here. Just click on that and it will show it and just copy it. But I'm not doing it right now because I don't want, I don't want to show you the API key and then go here and paste it and then click on save. But for now, I have one that is connected in uh, for me and it will work. So next, what you have to do is to choose AI model. And in the AI model, you can choose any of these. They are mostly free, but uh, one that works well and I've tested is the Flash one. So uh, one point, Gemini 1.5 Flash latest. This is latest AI version Flash and it's a very fast one. So and then on messages. So in messages, we have to add an item. So this is uh, in the role, we have to choose user because we want to send the, uh, the query to the AI. And then the parts of this query or this uh, message it will send will be the message type, which will be text. We want to send some text to the AI. And the AI, and to the AI, we want to send a, a kind of prompt for us. So uh, I'll write a prompt for me. You can generate a prompt with ChatGPT or whatever, but I'll write it myself. And I will write it uh, act like uh, a YouTube professional comment replier. Your task is to take the YouTube comment and generate generate a good res a good reply. The reply should not be long, max just one sentence. I will provide provide the YouTube comment, and your task is to generate YouTube reply. Here is YouTube comment. Okay, so now we have to provide the YouTube comment and where to get this YouTube comment. So we get it from uh, our first node here that we have. And as soon as you click here, it will pop up this window here, as you can see. And to get the comment, just go and click and drag this text display or text original. It's the same. So just drag it here and put it in the, in the side. So here is YouTube comment and we provide the YouTube comment. And now you can close this window and it's ready. So you just click on OK. So now that we have the, the our uh, generated reply, we want to send it back to YouTube. And we create a new node and this is going to be YouTube again. And we want to uh, reply to a comment. So we want to send a reply. And we choose the channel. Here is a channel and the comment ID. So the comment ID We'll, we'll get it from the first node, from the first YouTube node, and it is comment ID. So just drag this comment ID, and the content of this uh, reply will be result from Google Gemini. So it's, it is this result that we get from this one here. And now we can close this and press OK. So here is the workflow, very, very simple. And we have just three nodes checking for new comments, generating comment and replying. Okay, so let's test it now. What I can do now, I can go to this video. Uh, I will add a comment here. Uh, I will add it first with just this account. It doesn't matter in any account will work or any new comment or from strangers for any from anyone will work. So um, I really like this song, please. Can you upload more? And I will comment it. Okay, so here we added a comment. Again, it doesn't matter uh, if it's from Stranger or from this own YouTube channel. It is absolutely going to reply to all the comments. And now after you wait for some time because it is not directly applied, you go to the automation and you have to start it. So I'll click on run once here. So just run once for testing. And as soon as we run, it is going to check. As you can see, it found one comment. Then it goes to Google Gemini and it sends a reply. And if you see, click in here, you'll see that operation. And uh, here is the comment that we found. And then here is the response from AI. Glad you enjoyed. More uploads are definitely on the way. And here we have uh, the reply that is sent. And now if you go to YouTube and if we refresh this page, here we go. We have the comment and we have a reply from the channel. Glad you enjoyed. More uploads are definitely on the way. So here, guys, it's very, very simple. You got AI generated responses and you think that this is not going to work with uh, other channels. So let me switch channel. OK, so now I'm from another channel and I'll upload another comment. And OK, so for this comment, I will write this song. Give me some revive. Why did you upload about summer? Didn't you 
like winter vibes. This is more interactive comments is going to make the AI think a little bit more. Let's go back to the our workflow. And if we run again, or what you can do, you can run it every 15 minutes, you can just save it with control and plus S. And if you go to organization or scenarios, you can find it here that we have uh, our workflow and you can turn it on here. You can turn it on or off and it will check all the time. So as soon as I turn on, it's going to find and reply and you can keep it on or you can keep it off uh, anytime. So again, it should have found the new comment that I uh, applied here. And if I refresh, here you go. So this song gave me a summer vibe, uh, blah, blah, blah. And then we have the comment, summer's the perfect time to share some shiny tunes. It It is relating to this comment. Okay, guys, this was very, very simple. And actually what you can do, you can try it with yourself uh, to make it this workflow to the next level. What you can do is to collect the YouTube video title and description and also send it to the AI. So you can, you can tell it to the prompt of this video, uh, title is this and this video description is this and unders and you, um, AI can better understand what type of comments to reply to the user. So it's very, very helpful. Then, yeah, you can save it, you can run it, keep it running and you can check it every 15 minutes, every 30 minutes, you can change the time here and run it for yourself. Again, please make sure to read YouTube guidelines before applying this. This is for educational purpose only. Okay, guys, this was the video for today. Hope you like it. Please make sure to like, subscribe to the channel and more automation type of videos are coming. Maybe a video on how to generate YouTube shorts and upload them automatically on YouTube or do anything else like that. So please stay tuned to the channel, subscribe, like, and see you.